everyone's here. Now, listen, we all know this. 2020, um, hashtag 2020. What a year it's been. Really brought on some uh, unanticipated things. And what I actually want to do, I'm going to tell you guys a cool story. And then I want to show you guys how you can take these initially negative bad things and how we can turn them on their head and use them as leverage to expedite our results moving forward. So it's actually interesting. I was on the phone with Myron Golden the other day and he was like, Hey, how's coronavirus been for you with business? And, um, and I said, like, with all the respect in the world that people are literally dying, like, it's been the best thing that's ever happened to business. And he was like, oh, my gosh, me too. And he's like, tell me how. So I'm going to tell you how, okay? That being said, though, if you stick around to the end, I actually have a super cool checklist that I'm going to give you. Also, you know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all these different things. Now, first thing that you need to know. Okay, again, my name is Catherine Jones. <sighs> leader of this design hacking movement, how to present stories that convert, both in the game of marketing, presenting stories that that convert to other people to turn subscribers into buyers and buyers into hyper buyers, but also how do we do the same thing for us so that we can not only lead seven figure movements, but actually play the game and become a seven figure leader. So I, um, I, I think one of the most important things when we're trying to figure out like, okay, how are we, how are we navigating the craziness of 2020? Are you kidding me? Is to actually get really clear on where you currently are. Reason being like getting clear on where you are and what your stories are, because if you start to try and make a plan in this state of panic, you're making a plan from a state of delusion, right? You're just making a plan from a state of delusion. So we got to get actually clear what we're doing. So let me show you what this is what I do. We actually have an app for this, but I'm going to show you. I did on a paper earlier today because I was like, oh, I got to get clear. So literally what I do is I get really clear across like, what are the stories that are in my head across all five stewardships, awareness, worship, anatomy, kin, enterprise, right? Where am I at? Where am I at? as a human? Where am I at as a disciple? Where am I at as an athlete? Where am I at as a parent or partner? And where am I at as a CEO? Get clear on my stories that are currently governing me. I'm like, are those working out for me? No. So cool. What's my desired required story? I need to start living so I can make this happen. So this week, for example, oh my gosh, guys, we've had the most fun week. We just finished this huge launch and we're about to go into September, which uh, we're doing all this really fun stuff for Design Hacking Live. And we have this like launch campaign that's it's insane. It's awesome, but it's insane. So I was feeling like a little bit overwhelmed. I was like, oh my gosh. And so I got clear my story. I was like, what's my story? And I was like, my story is that I have no idea how I'm going to find the time to do this. So I was like, is that what I want? No. So what's my re desired required story? Like my desired required story is that I have actually been prepared. And so the answers are within me. I simply need to extract them. Like all these things that I think are going to take me six hours, they're inside of me. I can do this. And really operating from that headspace has been super huge. Okay. I actually have, if you want to see, I have a video. It's like, like, don't like your current story, change it. I'm going to show you literally how I drop body fat percentage and change like the whole makeup on my body, literally by just telling a story. So if you want to see that it's linked somewhere in here, you can see. Okay. Now the second thing that I do, you guys, is you've got to give yourself permission to feel all the feels. I remember right when uh, COVID hit and it was mid March when it really hit the U S and our event design hacking live was supposed to be March, the last week of March. So literally all of a sudden it's like, holy smokes, we're ready to go. I have, tens of thousands of dollars worth of swag. We have the venue. We have hundreds of people flying in to Salt Lake City. And it's like, what are we going to do? And I just was like, oh my gosh, we have to cancel. Like we have to do something. We can't have people gather. And it was really interesting. So we decided to push it forward six months. So it'd be September 25th and 26th. And we tacked a coaching program on the front of it. And it was actually amazing. But like when I first, when we first did that, oh, I just wept because I was just like, <laughs> But I think that's like a really beautiful thing. It's like, listen, analyze how you feel, like actually take the time to do that. And if you guys actually want to see this, like I actually have a Catherine combo on this and it's like, where have I been planning big changes? Like you can, if you want to see footage of your girl crying and why that actually can be a really awesome thing, do it. You got to acknowledge what's happening in your soul or else you're just going to drown. Okay. Now the third thing is I think especially because there's so much unknown happening right now is to automate the things that we do know, automate the things we are in control of so that we have the headspace and the resources and the money and the time to take on and navigate these new circumstances. So actually at the end of this video, I'll give you a checklist for how to automate all things. We'll make it happen. I also have a best selling book on that. So we'll, we'll let you know where that is there. Okay. And then finally, I think as a planner, number four is you need to remember the actual objective of things. So coronavirus. We have to push forward our event. Okay. Have all the tears about it. Then September comes around. And because your girl has never dealt with a worldwide pandemic before, I was like, six months will be more than enough time. Well, jokes on me. Okay. So now not only has the event been 
rescheduled to six months forward, it's now gone from in person to virtual. So there's like so many changes. And I think initially you could be like, oh my gosh, like I'm going, I'm going nuts. Like I'm just getting hit in the face over and over again. But I think one of the most important things to do as you're trying to figure out how can we leverage these seemingly negative things during this midst of uncertainty is remembering what was the objective of what you were doing anyway. So it was all of a sudden it was like, okay, if we did this virtual, how could we still obtain all of these objectives that we are initially doing? Amazing, figured it out. Bonus tip, and I think something that this is really exciting is to make sure that you have a human that you can share really candidly wins and losses with, that isn't gonna judge you if you're freaking out, is gonna celebrate the heck out of you if you win. If you don't have one of those people, come join us. I can be that human for you, it's gonna be amazing. But long story short, those are my first tips. Get clear, you can't build out of a state of delusion. Acknowledge how you're actually feeling. Automate what you can so you have time to actually navigate these uncertain circumstances. And then number four, you guys, is to remember the actual objective of what you were doing. So the application might change, but we're still actually fulfilling the objective there. So if you like this video, let me know. Put in the comments which tip makes most sense for you. If you want to join a community of people that are building seven figure movements who are playing the game of strategy, playing the game of of becoming all through design hacking, presenting stories that convert across podcast, video, copy, stage, funnels, and also figuring out how to present stories that convert here. Come hang out with us under Design Hack Community. Link is below. Y'all are amazing. 2020, here we come.